Now one last thing we should talk about is how we can change the colors of your Google um, Calendar here on the internet. One thing we can just go and choose right well that's a pretty hideous color let's try this one so you can see my lunch change there um, and we can choose any color we want we can also add notifications we can um, display only this calendar if we wanted so it just shows my lunch we can click on create a new event or you can just click and hold which is what I suggest is very much like iCal you can tell that uh, Google took a good look at iCal when they were creating this see so I can just click and drag right there if I want to create a new event here on the website and I can choose to share this calendar with somebody if I want and that's information we were looking at previously and let's also take a look at calendar settings which we also looked at now I'm going to have a tutorial here very soon on how to insert this into an iWeb web page because you can put your calendar into iWeb and into a website and it will update dynamically which is cool. So I click on the calendars to get them all to appear again. So remember I went and I did display only this calendar. When I want them back I just click on each calendar there and they come back. Now let's talk about how we delete a calendar. So I'm going to go back over here and I'm just going to click on the testing Google Calendar because I didn't really want that anyway. And choose File and Get Info or Command I if we'd like that. And it has all my information here. Now if I go to Account Info, you see we have our, our three Google Calendars that we have um, subscribed to. I can click on this one and I click the minus button right here. You might also notice before I do that, it will also let us change the name of our calendar. It's like Google testing. I click the minus button. It says, hey, are you sure you really want to delete that? Yes, I do. And away it went. So that's how I can delete any of my calendars. It's also how I can rename the calendars one way. Um, actually, in this case, it's Nope, just one way. The other way we can rename the calendar. Let's go ahead and click OK here. We just saw it in Command I, and I can also just click, wait a moment, and click again, and then I can rename it. So that's your standard approach with renaming folders, um, renaming albums, and everything else. And if you're in iTunes, it's how you rename albums. So that's all you'll need to do to delete a Google Calendar in your iCal. Now, of course, over here in Google, we end up just clicking on settings and I can click on the delete key or delete button right here. It says, are you sure you want to delete this? Yes. I click delete and away it goes. So that's my introduction to Google calendars and how to synchronize them with iCal. And I'll have some additional information later. If you have some feedback for me, please don't hesitate to contact me at understandyourmac at me.com. I'm James with Understand Your Mac, and I wish you a great day.